A new coffee table book celebrating the evolution of the Illinois governor's mansion since 1855. It's a house that made history, that's the name, not only a deep dive into the architectural and decorative legacy of the home, but also a look at the lives and times of the people who have lived there. First Lady M.K. Pritzker is behind the book. She joins us today. M.K., thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. So the mansion completed in 1855. Mm -hmm. the, I, the book is amazing. It's gorgeous. The, the way you have uh, worked in the decoration. How much, if we go there, do we see is original to the, to the times? Well, the house has been added on to. In the 70s, they added a very large portion to the back, which actually made it the largest governor's mansion in the country. But the original part of the house is still intact, especially on the first floor, the, the parlors. It's all original. And in terms of the decor, did you have to bring everything new in, or were you able to preserve some things? Well, we reused as much as we could, um, the antiques and that kind of thing, but we added kind of a modern um, element to it to make it more comfortable and bring it up to today's living. And you had one of the masters of decorating working with you, Michael Smith, who of course is known because he redecorated the Obama residence in the White House. He did, and Michael is a dear friend of mine, and he was so wonderful. He donated his time and to the people of Illinois to do this project. So Fantastic. We, we thank him for that. You write in the book that this is the people's house. You you say it's their spirit, strength, and resolve that has established the state's long tradition of leading the way for positive social change. Talk about that mission and how it is the people of Illinois can experience the mansion today. Well, I really focused on positive social change and the positive aspects of our state's history, which is reflected in the book in the history section. And uh, when people come to the mansion, I want them to be very proud of our history and everything that we've contributed not only to the state, but to our country. I mean, we are the home of Abraham Lincoln, uh, Barack Obama, and Hillary Clinton. So we've contributed a lot. And people can see it, by the way. I just want to note that. Absolutely. We're open for tours. Um, you just go on IllinoisMansion.org to arrange a tour. And by the way, Abraham Lincoln, he did roam these hallways? He did. Abraham Lincoln was very good friends with the second resident of the mansion, Governor Bissell, and unfortunately Governor Bissell died in the mansion. Abraham Lincoln was there at his deathbed. When you began the project, I think it was during COVID, so I'm sort of curious, well, that's a good thing to do during COVID right. for sure, but you had to look for blueprints and pictures. I mean, you've got Richard Nickel photos from the 70s. Talk about just the experience of finding the treasure trove of things. Well, I have the state troopers to thank for the Richard Nickel photographs. They were located in one of their closets, and we didn't know they were Richard Nickel photographs at the time, uh, but I tracked them down at the Richard Nickel uh, archives at the Art Institute, and they were very helpful um, documenting uh, the Richard Nichols. And so in the work that you've done in terms of the, the decorating, that kind of thing, you've tried to be true to the various, I mean, this goes to the 1800s, the 1900s, the 2000s, and you have been true to the eras. Yes, I've tried to kind of blend all the eras and be very respectful to the legacies that, that lived there before my husband and I. And also to note that we, we tried to leave the house in a flexible position so that the next resident can put put their spin on it as well. As I think you would probably note that the Rauners have done for you, you make a point in the book, a kind of a shout out to First Lady Diana Rauner because of the architectural, the structural difference that the Rauners made in the mansion. Well, I have to say Diana Rauner did an unbelievable job. You know, she, she did a lot of really important work to that house and saved that house. And I would like to give her a shout out for the really hard work that she and the committee did. So when I arrived on, on the scene, I, I basically had a very well baked cake that um, I just had to frost. And, <laughs> Well, that's going to take me to another question, by the way, um, because let's talk about cakes, because cakes have to be served on something. Yes, they do. And part of what I find intriguing, I'm a collector myself, but the china, the collection of china that, that you've come across, we have some here, so I want to be sure we point it out, but talk a little bit about your effort. There's a whole chapter in the book about china. Well, I think people really love china. I know I love china. So uh, when I arrived, the, the state china, the last uh, of the state china was made in the 70s, so I decided I wanted to add to the collection of china there at the mansion. So I worked with the Picard Company from Antioch, Illinois, and we designed this china right here, which um, is based on the state tree, the oak tree. And so you'll see there's an oak tree in the middle here, and, and the, the band here has um, acorns and oak leaves. And then the dessert set was actually inspired by Mary Todd Lincoln's china, where she had uh, the violet, which is the state flower of Illinois. And by the way, if I was having dinner at the governor's mansion on a Mary Lincoln dessert plate, might I eat a Mary Lincoln dessert? You would. You would have some Mary Todd Lincoln cake, which was Abraham Lincoln's favorite dessert, which is basically an almond cake. And apparently Abraham Lincoln wasn't a very good eater, so she knew he loved that, so she made it for him a lot. Yeah, Abe and I would have gotten along well. <laughs> um, and listen, this is, yes, it's a, it's, it's a show place for Illinois, but it also, it's your home, and it's the governor's working area. How did you balance all of that? 
Well, you have to be mindful of that. Uh, we wanted the house to be really warm and welcoming because we do receive a lot of visitors. But most of all, we wanted um, all Illinoisans to be proud of their governor's mansion. Um, is, is there a room that you hang? I mean, I know the Chicago room is very special to you. Are there certain rooms you kind of hang in more than others? Well, we love the Lincoln Parlor, which is on the front cover yeah. of the book. It is, um, I love that color green, and it's very comfortable. So we often receive visitors in that room. And in, in terms of the, the governor's office, how much does he work there as opposed to going over to the Capitol? Well, now the Capitol is under renovation, oh, so yeah. he actually spends quite a lot of time in that office. Wow. Well, there's, I mean, the furniture, the, the decor, it's absolutely amazing. Congratulations on Thank that. I'm you. just going to hold this up. This is coffee table book time. <laughs> it is beautiful and Thank an amazing so amount Thank of you. work. Um, Mrs. Pritzker is going to be talking about her book as part of the Chicago Humanities Fall Festival. When? That happens this coming Saturday, 1 p.m. at Northwestern University, where she will be with decorator Michael Smith, so you'll want to catch both of them. We've got more information on our website, and of course, the book, A House That, history, uh, a house that Made History, is available now, and tours at IllinoisMansion.org.